Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the upper right hand corner. Follow me on all forms of social media. Check me out at thedrummerguy.com and enjoy the following presentation. Hi, this is Nika from The Heart. How's it going? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. Of course. My pleasure. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, of course, awesome. we're here to talk about The Herd and the brand new album, The Island, which is coming out next Friday through Despots Records. Uh, I've gotten the chance to be able to check this album out over the course of the last couple weeks, and I just, I really love what this band is all about. I love the music, I love the concept behind The Island, and seeing it in musical form, and I just love everything about this band, and it's great to see it come to fruition. Oh, thank you. That's so nice to hear. Oh, not a problem. So, with that said, for people who may not be familiar, how did this whole band start? To, uh, start? Um, it was me, Clara, and Ida. We had uh, uh, another band called the Crucified Barbara, and uh, we've been playing together since '98, <laughs> so it's a long, long time. And uh, we split up, um, uh, I think it's two years ago now, and uh, through that uh, hard part, we felt that we wanted to uh, go on and play music. We didn't want to stop playing uh, at all. We knew that we wanted to do something more and um, uh, something else, something new. Uh, so... Um, there was three of us, all of us, and then Stockholm is quite a small city, and everybody knows everyone around here <laughs> in the music business. And Skinny, we uh, we knew like uh, we've been hanging around in Stockholm, and he's been uh, known for us for a long time. So we asked him if he wanted to join the band because uh, he's a real cool and good guitar player. He used to play uh, bass in uh, a band called Death Stars. And uh, then we needed uh, someone to sing. So we uh, uh, thought about Pepper Potemkin and uh, she's a real cool uh, uh, artist. And we felt that we wanted to have someone that could uh, really join herself on stage, you know, to have that live. So, and her voice is amazing. We didn't know that at first. We just knew that she could sing. Thing. And uh, so, yeah, it asked her. And then we, it was a five piece band. Yeah, and you know, that's just so incredible to see how that all works. You know, sometimes it just takes being in a location like Stockholm and, you know, just uh, knowing everybody yeah. around in the music scene to want to get together and just uh, work towards the same goal. And it's great to see that happen with the herd. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, all of us have a different kind of uh, uh, influences. And uh, like me, Ida, and Clara, we just knew that we wanted to play a uh, uh, new kind of music and just to be free and be playful because we didn't have a record company or uh, nothing to think about when we started the process. And I think all of us, it's just, uh, I mean, it just um, turned out to be this kind of music and uh, we just... It, it came out through this playfulness and this uh, joy of playing music together. And for me, I just, you know, wanted to, uh, wanted this kind of more doomier sound. And I think it worked out very well because we are flirting a lot with different kind of styles, uh, like uh, from the 70s or more heavier or meaner uh, hard rock. Uh, and tunes, I guess. Yeah, I but do. yeah, yeah, it's, it's 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 hard to answer. But I think all of us uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, went the same thinking of you know when we just jammed in the rehearsal place, it just came out this way, and we didn't want to do these three minute songs. We we wanted to uh, you know don't have any limits <laughs> at all. So that's why I think. It, the songs are like six minutes or something like that just to have this playfulness and a break can be like one minute and you know 
that. Oh, oh, definitely. And I can imagine that really helps with the inspiration and creativity. I mean, uh, obviously with the Crucified Barbara and Death Stars being so uh, different to compared to what's being done with the Herd, I mean, I, I imagine that's got to be a great feeling being able to forge a new path musically like this. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so fun because you don't have any, um, nothing to refer from, you know, like you have to do this or that. We just, you know, played around and this kind of music we created. So that's fun. So what was it like the first time when you were uh, getting together, getting these songs down and knowing that uh, this was the direction that you wanted to go in and having it come to fruition like that? We, we had so much fun. Th that's, that was the main thing, I, I think, uh, to uh, feel that, oh, this kind of music must be fun to play live and it must be, you know, very dynamic. Like all the songs need to... Uh, feel fun to play and be quite different from each other so uh, and and heavy and like slow things um, I, I mean I, it was just for me I guess it was just the feeling of this must be fun uh, to play live and as uh, soon as we got to the rehearsal place everything is you know it's fun to play so <laughs> I guess it's that feeling I think all of us tried to Oh, definitely. So, also with that said, I mean, uh, of course, uh, knowing what direction you want to go in musically, uh, lyrically, it also matters so much as well. And it was great to see this whole concept uh, behind uh, this uh, haunted island. Where did this come from to be able to form a whole album around that? Uh, we were thinking about uh, this concept thing uh, because uh, Eden and Skin they had their, how do you call it in English, summer cabins. Uh, is that the right word? Uh, on an island, and this island is, uh, we just wanted to mix it up. It is an island that is real. <laughs> I mean, in, in the uh, Artepegal Lago of Stockholm. And uh, they've been there a lot, and they've been hearing a lot of kind of different uh, uh, stories about this island and things that happen on this island. And we wanted to mix this reality with the fiction to do it more interesting and uh, be in this world in between sometimes. So it was fun to, to think about this concept because it was like easier to write songs from that uh, idea. Like uh, all these characters that, that live on this island are real, but we can, you know, um, and how do you say like more we can uh, do more fiction about it and you know uh, I, I can't find the word but anyway it's uh, uh, it was fun to write songs about that to have this uh, uh, inspiration from this island and the stories that we've been hearing yeah and I, again I gotta say from the fan perspective it just it feels like such a great combination I mean with, with the music and the lyrics that are going on behind it I mean, just the overall theme of what's been going on with the herd so far just seems to fit so perfectly together. Oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you. We tried to. Um, I mean, I think I think that myself too. Uh, that the lyrics and the music fit so very well together, and it's fun that you say that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, it's cool because I think uh, it's kind of a special thing to live on an island. So. I think that was the inspiration to what happens with the people that lives on Ireland. Are they totally is isolated from the society? And, you know, it's kind of interesting, I think. Oh, definitely. So, again, you know, just like um, when you got all of this uh, going on, I mean, you get uh, the full album complete and everything. I mean, what was it like to hear everything back? I mean, knowing, uh, starting this uh, brand new band and finally being able to hear this whole album produced. I think it's... Uh, I I'm very proud of it. It was it was actually the first time I had so much fun playing, uh, recording in the studio. Because me and Ida, the bass player, we were recording uh, together live. So that was awesome. We had a blast. I was laughing through all the songs, <laughs> and it's uh, the first time I used to uh, feel it's. Uh, I don't like it at all to record because it's a lot of pressure and stuff like that. But um, now it was really fun. And we, it was a nice way to to record the the rhythm section, the bass and the drums, and and we had so much fun in the studio. 
because we had a lot of uh, time alone uh, in that studio so uh, we could play around a lot with the, the harmonies and uh, yeah stuff like that so it was fun so it's nice to to listen to the to the album uh, afterwards in different uh, uh, different places. Yeah, definitely. So, also, with that in mind, I mean, obviously, with a, a, a new venture, with a new band, and uh, getting back into the studio, and, of course, uh, with it being a fun process, uh, going through it, uh, did you change anything at all as far as uh, your musical setup at, at all for what you chose to record? Do you mean, like, um, uh, what we used to, like, the guitars and stuff like that? Or? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, uh, no, I don't think so. I think we have the same equipment, actually. Oh, that you know that's. But, but, but we but, but we have uh, this uh, Moog. I don't know the English word for it. Uh, that's a new thing, a new thing to to. Uh, how do you call it? Is that a Moog like a synthesizer or oh, yes. uh, and a Moog? It's uh, it's uh, I don't know the English word for it, but it, it does a lot of cool sounds just to make it darker, like more bassy sound. Mm -hmm. uh, on some parts of the songs which is really cool i think and then uh, we had this i don't know the word for it uh, right now uh, it's gone my head uh, melotron do you say that melotron oh yes yeah and uh, and then some you know yeah moog and uh, yeah so so that was fun to to bring on the songs just to make it more more interesting and heavier i think yeah that was one thing i heavily noticed throughout the album was uh, more of a use of like keyboards and synthesizers and mellotrons and yeah. stuff like that and i just thought that was such a really cool edge to be able to add that over top of what the band is already doing that's so heavy oh uh, yeah uh, thank you i, I think that too because it's a little bit to flirt with the, the 70s you know that kind of old stuff i think it's nice to to play around with those things and uh, what i think would that's been very uh, fun with the writing of the songs is all the harmonies and, and so it is it, it's get all the things more interesting i think um yeah oh very much so so again with and all, the, all the how do you say all the voices and, and harmonies uh, it's been fun to play with to sing a lot of different kind of ah uh, you know oh absolutely i mean when you have uh, all of that uh, when you're able to add that to your sound i mean especially especially if you're able to find it in a way that really enhances the music and i think that's exactly what you guys did with it yeah 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 totally thank you yeah i think it's cool to to do a lot of things like that oh definitely so with all of that in mind of course uh, with uh, having this new album coming out next friday through despots records i mean obviously it's it's got to be a great feeling to be able to have this album available but i I imagine it's got to be an even greater feeling to be able to get out there and be able to play these songs live. Yeah, totally. We're really looking forward to that. Uh, um, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I'm looking so much forward to it. So for anyone that would be checking you out for the first time uh, during these uh, upcoming shows, which I'm sure to happen in 2019, what should people expect from a show from The Herd? A lot of... Um, uh, a lot of darkness and joy and uh, yeah a lot of uh, cool songs as well <laughs> yeah i don't know what to say but it's gonna be fun to play and i think it's gonna shine through uh, live when we're gonna play these songs that it's gonna be very heavy and and uh, yeah it's gonna be fun. Oh, it definitely sounds like it would be. I mean, I love what I'm hearing on record, but also seeing how it's gonna translate live. I mean, I can just imagine everything just sounding even grander. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, to rehearse the songs right now in the rehearsal play. So yeah, it's gonna be even more fatter sound live. <laughs> so that, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Oh, definitely. So uh, again, with the, all this in mind, obviously with the uh, uh, preparing for live shows uh, coming up in 2019, is there any other plans that are going on with you in 2019? Uh, nothing official right now, but we're. We're really gonna make sure to play a lot in 2019. 
had to play those cool songs. Ah, so cool. And I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. I mean, again, I really enjoy what's going on with this album. I love the whole concept behind everything that's going on there. And again, I just imagine that those live shows are just going to sound so uh, grand and rich and full when it gets into that live experience. And it was just an amazing time being able to talk to you about all this going on. And I really appreciate you taking the time to be able to talk to me about everything that's going on with the herd. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's, uh, it's going to be fun.